my dear masters students in my last lecture i discussed with you the novel things for leopard from chapter 3 4 five today i will discuss chapter 6 to 10 with analysis this analysis you will be found line after line not separately you know things fall apart definitely aims to change the attitude of african society and to change the attitude towards the whiteish people now chapter 6 chapter 5 ends with festival in chapter 6 on the second day of the festival everyone gathers at the village playing field to the wrestling contest between two teams of boys of 15 or 16 years old one of the victorious boys is maduka the son of oknos good friend obiorika neighbors were waiting for final match the current priestess of the oracle chilo talks casually with ekofi about oknos oknos attack on her and about ekofi's daughter ejinma at last with the drum thunder the match starts okay for takes advantages and suddenly defeats ikeju the crowd carried the victorious okay for on their shoulder with pride here we see the sense of community and kinship among members of villages another scene we see brief exchange between ekofi and her neighbor chilo proves kinship the scene also implies that chilo who loves ejinma like daughter knows more about ejinma's fate than she is revealing in chapter 7 we see noe and ikemefuna spent time like brothers Oknonko is inwardly pleased as Noe grows more tough and manly and he credits the change to Ikemefuna's good influence One day Oknonko Noe and Ikemefuna are happily eating a rare food In the meantime Ogbufi Ejide the oldest man of the village calls on Oknonko and tells that Oracle has decreed that Ikemefuna must be killed as part of retribution for the women killed 3 years before in 
may know. He also tells Oknoko took no part in killing since the boy calls him father. Many men of the village Yomofia accompany Ikemophonia to the outskirts of the village and into the forest. When the boy was afraid, one of them strikes the first blow with his machete. Ikemefuna called and cried, Father, Father, they have killed me. And he runs towards his father, Oknoko. Afraid to appear weak, Oknoko kills Ikemefuna with his machete. With the killing of the boy, the author H.B. creates a devastating scene that evokes compassion for the young man and foreshadows the fall of Oknoko again in the tradition of the tragic hero. To kill kin is considered a terrible offense to the Igbo, but Okonko is determined to prove himself unshakable and turns into him tragedy. Here we see that Okonko does not take any challenge to lose her tragedy, but his activities turns him to tragedy. In chapter 8, Okonko visits his friend Obiorika to escape from the agony of thought of killing Ikemefuna. He praised his son's victory. He asked his friend why he did not join the other man in the sacrifice of Ikemefuna. Obiurika, his friend, replies that he had something better to do. He expresses his disapproval of Oknoko's role in killing Ikemefuna. This act of killing will upset the earth and the earth goddess will get her revenge. Actually, his friend Obiurika is a man of thought and questioning. On the other hand, Okonko is a man of action without questioning. Okonko is present for the negotiation of the bright price for his friend's daughter. After negotiation of bright price, he talks about different customs. Obiurika speaks of a particular ridiculous story he heard that once the tribes had been visited by men with white skin. In this chapter, we see that the Igbo customs and courtship. At the end of the chapter, Chinua Achebe gives us 
an ominous foreshadowing of what is to come. The reaction to white man shows how unready the Africans were for the coming of the European colonial power. White man stories the Igbo have experienced now the Igbo are immediately dismissing the thought of white man as a myth. Chapter 8 proves that colonialism. Now I am discussing chapter 9. Here we see Okonko is awakened from sleep hearing the news that his beloved daughter Ejinma is dying. He had 10 children but unfortunately 9 children died. Okonko hurriedly gathers leaves, grasses and bugs to prepare medicine. After preparing medicine for his daughter, the daughter took medicine and she sleeps again soon. Here is mentionable that in this chapter, high infant morality is one of the unfortunate truths of the Igbo life. Although nothing supernatural happens in this novel, this is very much important for your information. No supernatural theme is here. Some things in the Igbo religion that Achebe depicts as uncanny. Now, chapter 10. The village holds a ceremonial gathering to administer justice. The first case involves a woman who has left her husband. He wants her return along with her two children. She will return, but her husband should not beat her again. In this chapter, HB shows justice and fairness. My dear students, next we will discuss another chapters. Best of luck.